but you guys are dizzy from all this running around in circles around here. This is B Junior on B Junior's Movie Cave on the Endurance Productions YouTube channel. What I've come here to talk to you about today, guys, is I got a package. It touched my heart, guys. It touched my heart. I got something I've been waiting for in the mail for a while. I thought you guys might enjoy it. So what I'm going to do is take you over to the table. Look here. It came in postal mail. Good old priority mail. I have a feeling I know what this is inside here. It's a package I got from a place called T-Shirt Bordello. I unwittingly, or unknowingly at the time, bought one of their t-shirts at the recent Mad Monster Party convention in Charlotte, North Carolina. And it was the Crystal, the Camp Crystal Lake uh, Counselor's t-shirt. And unbeknownst to me, they had many more to pick from. I was just into the uh, allure of the convention and I didn't stop by the table anymore. What really spawned the uh, interest in looking further, my buddy here on YouTube, Pizel, bought him a couple shirts from uh, their website. I actually went on some of those coupon websites and I found a good one for their website where you could get about 15% off, I think it was. So I said, heck with it, man. And I bought three shirts. I'm going to rip this package open and I'm going to show them off for you. You know, hearkening back to those old age days of show and tell in grade school, guys. We're all big kids here on YouTube. We can have fun. It doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you over here. I'm going to go handheld. I'm going to pull the shirts out. I'll show you what I got. Actually, what we'll probably do, now we've got good lighting right there. Yeah. I'll pull them out of the package here, one by one, and we'll model them for you. I know Pizel, I'm not trying to steal your idea out there, guy. But I just couldn't, I couldn't stand it. I had to get some t-shirts, man. I had too many good ones on there. T-Shirt Bordello is a website I've never frequented before. Um, this is my first real big package from them as far as t-shirts go. I gotta say, they had some really great prints as far as t-shirts. Um, they didn't have like a, it's not like a t-shirt emporium or anything. They didn't have thousands and thousands of designs. But what they did have was just good quality looking t-shirts. So, bought three of them here. I'll show them off for you as we go. Well, that's what you guys came here to see was the physique, you know, the rough angles, you know, the, all the flexing and posing on the channel. You know, that's what you guys want to see, right? Okay, all jokes aside, first up on the docket, they're all black t-shirts. They didn't have any other colors in these designs because of the negative space, I think, that has to fill in. This is one that Pizzell got, and I had to get it. It's Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 character of the cook and the original, rather. Um, let's get her angle down here just a little bit. Yeah, let's do it right. There we go. Get her focus going. Yeah, see, check that out. It's the last roundup rolling grill. The cook. Drayton Sawyer. The secrets in the meat. How can you not like this t-shirt? I mean, even if you're going to a horror convention or just kicking it at the crib in the man cave, how can you not like that? That is classic right there, guys. Must have been one of those hard shell peppercorns. <laughs> Couldn't stand it, guys. Had to get this one. I know you guys will I'll model. I'll, put, I'll throw them on at the end of the video. I'll walk around the man cave, show you what they look like in person. Or on the, on the person. Anyway, the chili cook-off t-shirt there. Had to get that one. This is one that I got while it was on sale. Um, I don't know why it was on sale. I think it's one of their premier t-shirts, but I had to get it too. These are all kind of like mock ad, mock drinking t-shirts. What this one is, is Daryl Dixon's Crossbow Red Ale. Of course, Daryl Dixon, Norman Reedus from uh, Walking Dead. I totally marked out for it, guys. I know. Let's try that. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Let's check it out. Let's see what it says here. It says, brewed and bottled by the Walker's Brewing Company, Atlanta, Georgia. Daryl Dixon's Crossbow Red Ale. 6% alcohol by volume. Had to pick it up, guys. I'm a total mark for Walking Dead. I know some people hate it nowadays, and it's trendy to hate on it, but, man, I love the show. And, you know, I'm not Norman Reedus crazy or anything, but it was a cool T-shirt and it was on sale. Had to pick it up. Probably the most favorite out of the three that I got, though, was this one. When I saw this one, that's what did it. I was like, dude, I'm buying a shirt, even if it's just this one. This is... My, probably my pound for pound, my favorite movie ever, and this is probably my favorite character out of the movie. It's Captain Quint's Blackwater Rum. I had to pick this one up, guys. We've got the orca symbol at the top up there. 
an island favorite since 1975, which is the release year of Jaws, of course. Let's check that out. It's a good likeness of Quint with a little shot glass going there and his mermaids. And their boobies are covered with YouTube. Don't, don't bleep me out of here. Got some little sharks on the side there. Looks like a real rum ad. What really sold me, though, is if you can see the tagline at the bottom of the chevron there, here's the swimming with bow-legged women. How can you not like this shirt, guys? This shirt is freaking awesome, man. Just check it out. It's 40% alcohol by volume, 80 proof, 700 milliliters. Captain Quint's Blackwater Rum. Here's the swimming with bow-legged women. All right, I'm going to make a quick cut, and I'll model them for you. I know you guys are going to love it. You guys are going to love it. Stick around. Stick around.